Hi, second grade students. Today's story is from Knowledge 6, Lesson 7, called The Life Cycle of a Frog. Before I begin our story, I'm going to introduce you to our vocabulary words. Our first vocabulary word for today's story is the word amphibian. Repeat after me. Amphibian. An amphibian is an animal that can live on both land and water. Our second vocabulary word is the word burrow. Say burrow. Burrow means to make a hole or passage into or under something. And our last vocabulary word for today's story is the word metamorphosis. Say metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is the process by which some young animals change form as they become adults. Did you know that there are thousands of different kinds of frogs in the world? Frogs don't all look alike either. Frogs can be all different sizes and colors. The smallest frog in the world was recently discovered in New Guinea. It is smaller than a dime. The largest frog in the world is the Goliath frog from Africa. It can grow up to three feet long and weighs seven pounds. Frogs live on every continent in the world except Antarctica. Why do you think that is? Frogs don't live in Antarctica because it's too cold. Although there is a frog that lives just inside the Arctic Circle. Do you know what a group of frogs is called? A group of frogs is called an army. Now that you know some cool facts about frogs, let's find out about their life cycles. Just like a chicken, a frog's life cycle includes birth, growth, reproduction, and death. The reproduction stage creates new life so that the cycle repeats over and over again. Have you ever stood at the edge of a pond or a stream in the spring and spotted a jelly-like substance floating in the water? If so, you have seen the first stage of a frog's life cycle. The first stage of a frog's life cycle is the egg. That jelly-like substance is frog spawn, which is hundreds of soft jelly-like eggs. In the center of each dot is a tiny black dot. Each black dot is a tiny embryo that will become a tadpole soon. A developing young frog is called an embryo at the early stages and a tadpole at the later stages. The mother frog lays her eggs in water in spring when the cold winter months are over and the water is warm enough for her eggs to survive. The mother frog lays hundreds of eggs at one time. Female frogs lay hundreds of eggs at one time because not all the eggs will survive. Unlike hens, frogs do not usually stay with their eggs, so fish, birds, and water insects are more likely to eat some of the eggs. Some of the eggs will survive and eventually develop into tadpoles though. Just as a developing chick is nourished by the yolk of an egg as it grows, a developing frog is also nourished by yolk-like material in the egg. Within a few days or weeks of its development, depending on the type of frog, the embryo develops into a tadpole with a head and tail. Soon after that, when its gills are formed, it is ready to hatch out of the egg. Gills allow the tadpoles to breathe underwater. Fish have gills too. Once it hatches, a tadpole lives in water. A tadpole has a long, flat tail that it uses to swim. Its gills allow it to get oxygen from the water. Tadpoles swim about in search of food. Although they still feed from the leftovers of the eggs, they also have to search for small green water plants. Tadpoles grow very quickly, especially in warm water. After some time, the tadpole begins its transformation into a frog. When a living thing undergoes a huge change in shape, this process is called metamorphosis. Tadpoles change quite dramatically from fish-like creatures with gills into four-legged land creatures with lungs. Let's find out more about this remarkable transformation. After the appearance of the head and tail, the, tail the tadpole grows back legs. Gradually, lungs develop inside its body and its gills begin to disappear inside its body. Because it has lungs, the tadpole can now breathe air. Next, its front legs begin to grow. As a tadpole's legs grow, its tail gets smaller. The tadpole uses its tail and its legs to swim through the water. It also begins to use its legs to climb onto plants in the water. Gradually, the tadpole's legs grow longer and its tail disappears completely. At this stage, the tadpole is a young frog that can leave its watery home and use its lungs to breathe. For many types of frogs, all this has happened in about 12 weeks. At this stage of development, the young frog is about an inch long. Very young frogs are often called froglets. Young frogs leave the pond to find other tasty treats to eat on land. They do not go too far away from their watery home, though. 
On land, they search for small insects, worms, and slugs. They catch their food with their long, sticky tongues. They have to be very careful, though, as a lot of animals, such as snakes, lizards, and birds, eat young frogs. Do you know what you call an animal that can live in water and on land? An animal that can live in water and, in, and on land is called an amphibian. Frogs are amphibians. Although frogs spend a lot of time on land, they stay fairly close to water. Frogs need to keep their skin damp or wet. Instead of drinking water, they absorb it through their skin. Frogs breathe through their skin when they are in water, <clears throat> but they breathe through their lungs when they are on land. They also seek out water when they want to cool down. If water is not nearby, they sit in the shade. They sit in the sun when they want to warm up. In the winter, many frogs hibernate. Often they burrow or dig a hole in the mud at the bottom of ponds. If they can't find a pond, they seek out a damp place, such as a pile of logs, in which to spend their winter. The young frog has to survive until it is two or three years old to become a parent. To live that long, frogs have various survival techniques. Their skin is often the color of their natural habitat. This helps them to blend into the background and avoid hungry predators. This is a form of camouflage. Frogs can hop quickly out of reach. They are also excellent swimmers. They can jump into the nearest pond or river to avoid danger. Some frogs have poisonous skin to protect them from their predators. All frogs have large bulging eyes. This helps them to more easily find their own food and avoid becoming dinner for some other creature. When a frog is between two and three years old, it will return to the pond where it was born. At this stage, the frog is now considered an adult. In spring, male frogs croak loudly to let the females know they are ready to mate. As with chickens, the eggs must be fertilized by a male frog or else they will not develop into baby frogs. And so the life cycle begins all over again. Each spring, a jelly-like substance appears in ponds and rivers. It is frog spawn or hundreds of small eggs containing tiny embryos. In time, many will hatch into tadpoles. And a little while later, these tadpoles will turn into frogs that will live for seven years or more. It is amazing that frogs change their appearance so dramatically throughout their life cycles, from egg to tadpole to adult. Next, we will learn about the incredible transformation in another creature's life cycle. Stay tuned.